morning, everyone. Today is Monday. What is the date? September 26, 26 at 8, around 8.30 a.m. We are leaving. I, for I forgot everything. <laughs> I should be prepared when I turn on this camera. Benign View Campground. Walking through Kirby Stephen. But we have a few chores to do. We don't have any breakfast food, so we're gonna stop by uh, a coffee shop and get coffee and breakfast. And then at nine o'clock, the outdoor shop will open and we need some new gas can because we're running low. Mm, need to go to the pharmacy to get some stuff for Ben. I asked him his pain level today. It's three. I'm like three out of four or three out of 10? <laughs> Three out of ten, so that's not bad. Okay, um, don't know where we're gonna end up today. Ideally, we're gonna take the high route and then camp at the one of the old mine ruin. But the weather is not doesn't look so good, so I don't know. I don't know how boggy. I think the the nine standard will be so boggy today because it rained last night. I don't know how long it's gonna take us to go through the bog to Keld. If it's too late and we're too tired, then we just stay in Keld. If not, then we keep going. My tent withstand the rain last night and the wind, 30 miles per hour wind, very strong. So I'm happy about that. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Wow. Why am I bleeding? I don't know when I cut myself when packing. It went stop. Mm. So much blood stain. Mm. <laughs> Jeez, that thing is. <laughs> and it's stitches. It's stitches. It just am needs I gonna to knock die? it off. <laughs> So much. I don't know. It's so windy and cold, and I'm bleeding. We're still, we have a lot of chores. We're going to the co op now to get coffee and creamer, <laughs> and it's already 10 o'clock. <laughs> Will we ever make it to anywhere today? I'm trying to hold my finger up against, I mean above my heart and put a pressure on it. It's 10 after 10, we're finally back on the trail after all the commotion. It's like a boat. It's called Frank's Bridge. I think I've stopped bleeding. I think. I don't know what's going on under the band-aid you want to take a picture of the sign with the bridge walking through the village of Hartley so I think what cut my finger was uh, the backpackers meal that we got and I was packing them uh, in a hurry and I shoved them down my bag and then the it's like a paper cut it cut my finger <laughs> and it was so cold my fingers were numb so I couldn't feel it <sighs> that was just a paper cut nine standard at the top of the hill very small still a long way it's there one and a half more miles to go this is like a green carpet Eight more miles. There they are. It's still 0.2 miles though. It's really windy. Oh, there 
daar hikers weg. The key is to just surrender to the bog, just give in. Don't try to avoid it. Just accept that your feet are going to get wet no matter what. Ben is wearing two Ziploc bags over his feet and he's already wet. <laughs> much shorter than four months ago when I took the red route <laughs> maybe I speak too soon Ooh, slippery grass now arrive at Raven Seed Farm. Looks like they're open for green teas. 11 to 4. Do you need anything? So Raven Seed Farm is where Amanda Owen lives. That's the Yorkshire Shepherdess. She has a TV show. I have not seen it. I've heard of it. Kelt is into mouth. <laughs> no, <laughs> there's used to be sheep here or something. That's a bone. That's a bone. <laughs> Half mile to Kelt, it says. <laughs>
Bobo. Open. Yeah. There's a sign that it says halfway on the coast to coast. I can take your picture. Right here. <laughs> Public toilet. You have to put 20 p. This kelp. <laughs> A museum? Kelp Old School. Kelp United Reformed Church. This is where I camp. A broken campsite. Okay, let's take a break. Okay, guys, it is 4:19. It feels and looked a lot later than that, but it's only 4:19. We just had some uh, food, some grilled cheese, cheese sandwiches at the Rukin campsite and tea shop. Uh, we're continuing on, but we decided we're gonna take the low route because it's windy and it's raining off and on and it's really cold. Uh, I really wanted to take the high route, but it's just too much exposure. No trees up there and then the wind will be 30 miles per hour. Yeah, no shelter. So we're gonna take the little route. Plus, we're a little behind on mileage. <laughs> okay, and find some uh, wall camping on the low route. Hopefully, we can find some. Those are the ugly piggy sheep. <laughs> they look so square and fat. Let me see. They look so ugly. They have no necks. I know. No, no necks. Why are you so ugly? <laughs> oh, look. No, that's fault. Look at this one, he's chilling out. It reminds me of Spam. Because they look like pigs. <laughs> oh, it's so cold. Why is it so cold? Is it really cold or because we stopped? No, I the, think it got colder. The past two days, I'm always cold. Oh no, it's raining. Oh, maybe we should uh, put on our back uh, backpack cover okay. right here it's down here oh, yes. okay. swale trail this is the river swale and we'll be walking along the river swale in the swaledale valley there's the waterfall <clears throat> and a swimming hole <laughs> nice Now I'm sweating. I'm wearing two jackets. <clears throat> bye bye, Keld. We didn't stay there long. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Oh, now we're sweating. <laughs> we felt so cold earlier, and now we're sweating. Here's the split. If you want to go high route, it's to the left. If you want to go low route, it's to the right. Let's see where Ben Graham's going. <laughs> oh, 
open the ram. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm glad we stopped. We were gonna keep going for a little bit more, but we saw this camping, or not camping, a field. There's a lot of sheep, but there was one area that's flat um, <laughs> and not much sheep poo around. So we went down and then it's by the river swell. So we set up our tent here. And then as soon as we set up our tent, it started raining like this. So I'm glad we stopped. <laughs> And I'm glad we're not taking the higher route. Hmm. Okay, the rainstorm lasted about 15 minutes, maybe? Yeah, probably. <laughs> it was really hard, though. And Ben... Gas? Huh? You want the new gas? Oh, I have the old one still. Is there enough? Yeah, I think so. Some water got in under Ben's tent because his footprint was too big, so he took off his footprint. And then we discovered there's a hole in the bottom of my tent. Yeah, I'm glad I have duct tape. A little pinpoint. <sighs> Here's where we can. There was a, there were a lot of sheep earlier, but one of them, tent, one of them got mad and ba 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 at us, <laughs> and I shoo him, and they all ran away. <laughs> so no more sheep. Another way out, they went bye. Bye, they said. 